we're not staying silent tonight as we're here at the persecuted premiere at the Arclight Movie Theatre. My name's Rachel, I'm here with Maximal TV where we're going to be speaking to the cast and finding out what they'd do if they were on the run. Uh, when was the last time you were blamed for something you didn't do? When I was blamed for something I didn't do. Yeah. I'm not sure that's ever happened. That's never happened? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you were blamed for something you did do? Uh, no comment. My well, favorite thing about my character is that it's different. From, any, from anything I've done. And uh, <clears throat> that's that's always uh, something that, uh, you know, you kind of look forward to. I've known, I've known a lot of the kind of people that uh, I have played in times past, and uh, uh, I've even known a, a few uh, Catholic priests. And uh, uh, I find that uh, there's, there's a variety of personalities there just as in any other walk of life. And, uh, but it, it was interesting to me to try that out. Some people might not think that uh, it was very good character casting, but uh, I enjoyed it. I'd be more like, no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But I understand why the character in this film had to do it. Um, and it's an important film. I mean, it's, it's a political thriller, yes, but the underlying messages of it are super important, and I'm, I'm grateful I got to be a part of it. And have you ever taken the blame for something that you didn't do? <laughs> Many times. I'm the youngest of five kids. I took the blame all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. I am the wife um, of the evangelist, and my name is Monica Luther. And it's a small role, which I'm grateful for because I am so, I'm, I'm a singer. That's what I do for a living. Um, so this is something totally different for me, and especially because I do faith based music. I pride myself on being very real and transparent. So <laughs> trying to put on an acting role where you're trying to be something other than yourself was a real challenge for me. Um, um, but gratefully, the cast was so gracious, especially James. He was just so understanding and very kind, being that I had never done it before. <laughs> Can you do an evil laugh, like a baddie kind of laugh for us? Don't you know baddies don't laugh? That's true. They just kind of go. <laughs> oh, that's already scary enough. <laughs> How did you get into character? Is there anything you do? Uh, you know, a lot of times it's just basically as soon as they, it's a makeup hair session, as soon as you're done, you're just there. You've got enough time, whether it's four hours or four minutes, it's how long it takes. You just go there. And then you turn it back on and off as the day goes. Create a law or change a law, what would you make? Do away with the IRS, get a flat tax. Okay. So that's what I'd do. I'd get away with the IRS and do a flat tax so we can get rid of them. I play a pretty baddie in this movie. Have you seen it? I've not seen it yet. Well, lots of people have called me creepy. Can you do an evil laugh? Well, I didn't have to laugh in this, so I don't know if I could do that because I'm not that good an actor. But uh, I was very intense in all of my scenes at making sure people knew I was the president, I was the boss, and they better damn well do what I told them, and they were in big trouble. I'm actually playing Aaliyah, the troubled teenager who unfortunately is murdered um, throughout the film, and so it kind of begins John Luther's persecution, you know, all of the trouble that he kind of goes through. It's because of my murder. <laughs> and were you a troublesome teenager? Did you have a rebellious state? Oh my goodness, I did, but for about a year. <laughs> and then I really got to clean up my act, and uh, yeah, but it was cool to unleash that rebellious side again, you know, yeah. really find that vulnerability and that teenager, you know, all over again. It was a lot of fun. Five years ago, I woke up and the story was there and uh, I felt a deep sense of conviction to make the story and and uh, and I just had a picture of this this evangelist, this man, kind of like The Fugitive or uh, one of my favorite films is North by Northwest and, and it was a guy who was framed for something he didn't do for standing for his convictions and he goes on the run to prove his innocence and I just, that that idea of a man's kind of like a brave heart story standing and facing an intrusive government and just going after the truth with this giant going after him and it was enough for me to keep going after being rejected by every studio no matter what came against for me I was kind of like living that journey in a small way to have to push this project all the way through after 50 drafts of the screenplay and doing a lot of moving around but to end up with a movie that has some great actors some good cinematography and production value that you don't usually see in a movie that you might call a faith film, but I think it's a great movie for a churchgoer or a non-churchgoer because it plays as just a good Washington thriller, you know? And when was the last time you were blamed for something that you didn't do? I don't know, probably today, I don't know. <laughs> every, every day, small and large, I think we all face challenges for standing what we believe. 
Larry, they're right here for me, please. Uh oh, what's your name? I'm right here for me, Larry. Great smile. Hi, how are you? Right up here. Good. Thank you. Hello, yeah. Gloria. Thank you. And one more? Thank you. All right, right here, Em. Paloma, Paloma will do singles. Yeah. Smile. There you go, dude. Brooke. And then throw me your bag so you can get us to get out. Smile, Brooke. Right. Can you get the right. 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 I can't wait to see that movie, man. No one looks good. Yeah, hold that, please. Great friend of the dress, doesn't it? Is this the friend of the dress? Welcome to the left here. That's my yeah. nice smile. And right next to him, block. Should we shoot him just a tap? Yeah. Those eyes here, Deanna. Thank you, please. Thank you. Damn, it's Shirley. Please, right here. Hold that right here in that smile, Brett. And right next to him, Brett. Hold that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my dear Virginia. Right here, right here. Okay. How you doing, Turk? Right 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 Thank you, darling. And, and right next to him. Make your brother together. All right. Thank you, Gorgie. Okay. Right here, right here for me, say. Got a nice smile for me. Be nice little publicist. <laughs> <laughs> Ready up here, please. And right here in the front, please. Those eyes here for me, guys. Who is up here, please? And right back in the front, down here. Hold on. Right here, please. All right. Hi, how are you? Yeah. And then right here. Right here. Very nice. <laughs> they have the right attitude, huh? Right here. Thank you. And right here for me, please. Nice. And this is the beautiful Nicole. Wow. All right, you know what? Very nice. Thank you. All right, Josh. Thank you. All right.